rolling. Oh, Hello, oh. John Dilworth here, and uh, I'm sitting here with Fluid from Fluid Tunes, and he's very excited to get an update on where I have been. So I'm telling you where I've been, and this is it. Um, this is scene 95. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's the inside of a closet where Jules is. Jules is inside of a closet. And they they see her and they go bananas, of course, and then they give her the dose. And, <laughs> right? And I've done oh this already. I, maybe I'll show you this. It's 95, the next scene. I'll, I can show you that after. I want to see but that. this is 95. And 95, let me just give you all sorts of context. 95 is like four minutes and 20 seconds into this adventure. So there's still another three minutes to go. And my plan, like I was telling you, is I have to, just have to get principal animation done by December. December. And finish the post by February. So that's why you haven't heard or seen much of me in the last five months. Because the, the necessity of, <laughs> of animating is the priority. Wow. You know, this is, this is just a scene that's developing. This is a scene that we're developing. And what I mean by that is that there's still lots to be done. And they're going to give Jules the business. And then the most exciting part for me is when I do this. Oh, yeah, the effect. Yeah, the effect. <laughs> the, it'll be a visual effect that I do by hand. And let me just show you something here. One little... I, I had this take. I wanted to do a take that didn't break me. So oh, this is the shadow. This is a layer for the shadow. Everybody understands that. So um, the assistant, my assistant, will will finish this. Will take it through. Right. Just expand it across the timeline. Yeah, it'll just yeah. it'll just finish it. But this is a model. I give one model as a guide to follow, and then <laughs> what I usually do is I finish with a guide. Oh. Hold on. Where where did you go? You must be turned off. Hold on, I'll show you. Yeah, where are you? Where is Louis Tint? Oh, here's Louis Tint. All right, so there it is. Oh, okay. Just there. So I'll give you the beginning and I'll give you the end. And if I took, you know, and this is easy. If I did this, is it locked? It's locked. Okay, if I did that, hold on, it'll happen. Uh, will it happen? Maybe there's too many openings. I don't know. Hold on. Well, I wish I knew tuned it, but I Hold know. on. No, no, no. It's okay. Everything's good. But it is there. I don't know why I'm not getting a fill. Well, there might be... Okay, let me do it this way. Okay, hold on. Watch this. Maybe it just takes a little time. Uh, abracadabra. What do I have to do, abracadabra? Anyway, it'll look like that. Oops. No, like that. Yeah. It'll look like that. But it's not looking like that oh, right now. God. Yeah. It's just, it's open places, that's all. Hmm. Oh, and maybe there was something else I had to do. Anyway, I'm still discovering this tool. So that's, so that's that big guy. So I like this. <laughs> what I wanted to tell you is like, all this sh these shortcuts. I mean, it's basically one drawing... It's this drawing that I duplicated five times and using the distortion tool, either move them up, down, or left and right. And then within that, I played around with small things like the hat or the inside of the mouth to keep it from being too static. And then my big, my big love were these damn pants that yes, that right. swirled up, and they have them moving around and going in different <laughs> circles. So, 
The effect I, I feels like rather, it doesn't look like it's a, a cheap cycle because they, they are so well active. And when the color, when we cut that, <laughs> I just love that they're, <laughs> and they both have these tiny stupid legs with hair on them and all, you know? Wait a minute. Wait, oopsie. Oopsies. Oh my God. Wait. <laughs> you look at their hair. <laughs> look at the tiny. <laughs> I don't know who's going to. So the thing is, they're in the hallway. They're in the hallway, the closet. No, in an alleyway. And behind the alleyway, this is all brick wall. And this is what I was telling you. We were going to have a mural of fluid tunes. Oh, We're amazing. not there yet, yeah. right? But we are moving through this thing. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. So those are those are key. That's just a key, a key pose. All right, let me show you the next one when she gets zapped. Are you going to do those in between, Julie? Or are you going to have um, do No, no. Uh, the thing is, I'm just animating straight ahead like this guy. Let me turn off. Let me turn kimchi off. Right, so here is here is Big Louie. And the thing is, I'm just drawing straight ahead. So what I really need is the assistant to do the shadows, do these outlines, oh, and to follow those. And then when the color stylist figures out the percentage you know, it's really simple to do. Hold on. Let me just give you... Let me just give you this thing. Hold on. Here's the tint. So I go like that, right? And... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Are we changing the opacity kind of thing? Yeah, right? So where are my pa... Where are they palettes? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here it is. It's this one, right? So it's oh. at 150. So, okay. So let's say this is what this is. And I go to 150. Oh, it's not the same color. I've already done it. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter. It's not important. Uh, anyway, uh, artists who know this software know it really well. So I don't have to show you that. But let me show you this 95 thing. 90, hold on, to color. 95E. So excited to see, because I, I haven't seen any 95E any stuff. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh my God, this is very oh. Halloween appropriate. Oh. oh yeah, it's Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Okay, so where is she? So she's getting zapped. Oh my God, the skeletons, Dilly. So she's wow. getting, ah. and then you see her gone. Oh my God, this is this is just incredible. a sight. It's a short scene. I like the guy with the hat back there. Yeah. Oh my God. So, you know, they were, the two of them were giving her the goods, and you see the bolts, and then you cut, and and that's it. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn the skeletons off so you can see her. Yes. Wow, the classic uh, delayed blink. I love that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Hold on, let me turn the background off so you can see that. Wow. Oh, I didn't notice the smoke. Yeah, this is gonna be all subtle stuff. <laughs> it's really great. I'm sorry to be shaking the camera. When I'm Don't. Laughing. It's okay. But let me show you what I was doing with this effect. This effect where it's black with spikes and then an outline in black. And then it will be a color in here. This will be a color, and the black could be a color. It could be like, for instance, red. And this could be yellow with a black outline. I mean, there are many ways to graphically put this across. But the idea came from um, Robert Crumb. Oh. Robert Crumb gave me this idea. He had done a logo, which was something like Electrify Me or something like this. And I, I basically stole his idea and uh, used it for my own. 
love this. Yeah, and then I was able to do little things like this, you know, <laughs> I just something to keep the thing alive, you know. <laughs> oh, that's, you that's know what I mean? Right. Just to keep it alive so it's not flat. Yes. And even oh, though no, this no. is flat, I give it a rendering so that, again, it's not so flat. And you're right about the, the, the blinky blinkies. So that's the story. That's where we are. Four, we're coming up to four and a half minutes. Uh, schedule is to complete it very, very soon. So until then, what do we say? Stay animated. Stay animated. <laughs>